Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. I'll be your host, Zykreon, as we head to the northwest to the old Sea Hag's uh, house, hut, thing, uh, in order to get the sea chart. Uh, last time we uh, proved Brett the Gambler uh, wrong because he was using a two-headed coin, and uh, that's no bueno. So here we are into this forest. This forest is full of a lot of new baddies for us to see. In this one, we have Mutant Ant. Uh, it's being level 10. Not that hard. Alex, uh, I think one shot everything that's new except for one thing. Uh, Luna's usually pretty good at one shotting. And, well, Ramus is greatness. It's kind of. He's, he's cool because he's another attacker, but he's pretty damn useless. He, I, I actually sometimes actually use him only for healing if uh, Luna's busy. Because he's kind of useless. <laughs> but he is another attack. But he's definitely no Alex. Alright, what's in this chest? It's a trap! Alright, uh, let's see. We have new enemies here! Killer Flies! All right. Well, let's uh, let's see. Do I want to heal? Yeah. All right. All right. So once again, now these flies are not as fast as the flies that were in the white dragon cave, and so we actually get to hurt them before they pretty much kill us. Yay! Alex gained the level. Go, Alex. You're the man. All right. And Ramus still. So weird. He only gains health. He doesn't gain strength. Nothing like that. Huh. I wonder what that could mean. All right. And there's an herb. We'll uh. Let's see. Let's just heal everyone. <coughs> well, heal Alex at least. All right. And we will continue on our journey. Really, Alex? Get out of the friggin' tree, you stupid bitch. All right. And we have Mantle Wrapper. What the hell? Mantle Wrapper? What are they wrapping? That's a weird name for a monster. I don't get it. Uh, sometimes I wonder. Oh, great. More poison. Sorry about that, guys. More poison. Gotta love it. So, seems that they've already started reusing sprites from what we've already thought, which is mm, a little weird. Maybe it's because we're still on the same continent, and we haven't left from Arabia yet, and that's why we're seeing all of these, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, on that little chest that was a little hidden, we got Starlight. We'll take care of this guy. Alright, well there's another new enemy. Let's uh, let's see what that's like. You're big. I don't like you. What are you? Killer Wasp. Alright. Ah, and this is the enemy that Alex cannot hit with just one. Alright, Killer Sting. Well, that's a new attack. Alex is getting his ass beat. And he's poisoned. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Does anyone else think that that looks like Beedrill? From Pokemon? I'm, come on now. I think, I think we were all thinking it. But I'm the only one who's going to say it. That is definitely a Beedrill. Get in your Pokeball. Get in. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Alright. Yay, Luna, you are awesome. Oh, man. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's the weekend. And I'm gonna see how many videos I can do. I don't wanna go nuts. I don't wanna finish a whole friggin' RPG in two days. But, uh, there's not a whole lot going on. I mean, work's been crazy with a big project, and I'm just trying to not do anything, except for laundry. I have about a month's worth of laundry that I have to go do, and I really am lazy and don't want to do it. But I know that it is a necessary evil. Yay, Tranquil Song, I love that. Alright, and more traps. Lots of traps in this area. Alright, well, aren't you guys glad I'm not showing you every friggin' fight? Let me just do a quick little 
heal there. Luna's got a crazy amount of MP already. I mean, it only takes her, like, 4 MP in order to heal, so it's awesome. <laughs> Alright, well, we've got pretty much everything, so let's go on up here now. Ooh, music's changed, but well, that's good. What the hell? Are we catching bears? <laughs> hey! Hey there! Get me out of this thing! Who the hell was that? Yeah, let's go check it out, no? Also sound like a whiny little bitch. Hmm. <laughs> peasant? Um call me a peasant, I'm probably not gonna do shit. Probably not gonna help you out. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Yeah, but we also didn't call Lake a peasant. Hey there, kitties. My name is Nash. I'm a level 3 apprentice from the famous magic city of Bane that floats around the Goddess Tower. The area around the Sea Hag's house can be a little tricky, so be sure to watch your step around here, okay? Wow. What the hell was that? <laughs> He's, um, interesting. Interesting to say the least. Alright. But yes, he is our first... How do I want to say this? He, he's our first main magic user that's not a healer. His magic is used for uh, assault. I guess I could say offense. He's got offensive spells. I'll show his spells in a moment when he joins us, but uh, he hasn't gotten there yet. Hmm. Galleon, huh? Never heard that name before. <laughs> Look, even Remus doesn't like Nash. Oh, is this the uh, guy they were talking about in that town? Saying the creepy guy looking for people who could sing? Hmm. Maybe we should watch him. I don't know about this guy. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see what magic he has. Thunder Bomb. Enemy Zone. It's a thunder attack. And a stone. Um, I don't think I ever use stone. I usually use Thunder Bomb. I don't... Yeah, I've just never had a reason to use stone. Get out of my way, chicken and pig! Alright, what's down here? Huh, red chest is locked. Alright, well, uh... We can't open any red chest right now, but if you guys remember it for later, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. Alright, here's the old hag. Can't, can't eat null. My goodness. Yeah, yeah, we need the C chart. Come on now, Nash. Don't be a little bitch. Egomaniac. Nice. Well, if you have Luna talk to him, we'll see if she can use some charm. I'll show you my titties if you give me the water cane. <laughs> oh, Nash, you are so weird. All right, we got the sea chart, guys. She doesn't seem all that, all that bad. You know, she just wanted to eat and all. All right, chicken, get out of my way. Damn you, chicken! Really, I hate when they make those stupid things like block your path. That's ridiculous. All right, now let's go back here and let's uh, let's show you what Nash can do. Let's show you one of his attacks. There's got to be some bad guys still around here. There we go. All right. And for tactics, put him on AI because he's good at using magic. Check this out. All right. Look at that. Killed three. I'm down with that. 
I can get behind that. That's awesomeness. All right, Nash. Maybe you're not as useless as uh, as you appear to be in the beginning. All right. 400 silver. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right, I'm just kind of going through now, making sure I got everything while my cat meows in my ear because he wants attention from me. If only cats could understand that I'm recording. All right, don't need to show you that. More traps. More traps, and my cat jumps up on my desk. Oh, bad Mozilla. Ay, ay, ay. All right, well, we took care of those. I think that pretty much does it. So I'm going to meet you guys back at Safe. All right, and we are here. Um, I, I, I forgot looking at his gear. Uh, Nash actually has this bromide, and if you use it, let's uh, let's see what it is. It says me is bromide. Um. Okay. Nash, are you a pervert? Hmm. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, next time, we are going to give the sea chart to the captain and see if we can't make it to Moribia. All right, everyone. This is Zykrion saying adieu, and thanks for watching. Let's play Lunar Silver Star Story Complete.